Neptune. What's up, Chris? Hey, Mike. Uh, Mike, um, happy Super Sunday. Thank you. You too. What's going on? Thank you. Uh, a couple weeks ago when we spoke, I think one of the comments you made about Gronkowski, and I agreed with you, mm -hmm. was that, you know, hopefully that he hadn't retired already prior to the game last week. Mm -hmm. And the, the Patriots, um, you know, ended up running an insane amount of snaps. 94 plays, Mike. I think they set a record. Yes. Um, for, the, for the playoffs. 48 of those plays, Mike, were runs. I mean, now who does that in today's NFL, you know, run the ball 48 times? And the point I'm getting at is that Gronkowski was on the field for every single play. Yep. And we, we know how successful in those 48 runs the Patriots were. And I think that's why I kind of disagree with you a little bit. I think the game plan for the Patriots is going to, and who knows if it works or not, but it's going to be to run the football today. Um, and, you know, obviously Gronkowski. You know, the, the, the game plan uh, specifically it was to keep the Chiefs on the sideline. That was their game plan. I do not think I do not think they have the same fear of the Rams that they that they have of offense that they that they have at the Chiefs. They they've identified themselves as a running team this year, Mike. They they but the Pat the Pat but the Pats in their history, and if you're familiar with the Pats history, you know that the Pats can change every game. They can show you a completely different look. So uh, I would not be surprised if this becomes much more a passing ten intensive game today than a run intensive game. Of course, Belichick is, a, is you know, a, he changes colors at any time. Yes. Let me give you my take on, on the other side of the ball, Mike. Um, if Gurley's knee is really a problem, now he's had two weeks to rest, but I've heard, you know, I've heard, you know, conflicting things. Um, if Gurley's knee is a problem, now the Patriots could give up a lot of yards to C.J. Anderson. The Steelers beat them down with the power running game, Mike. I don't know if that's going to happen. The Patriots were pretty successful against the run this year. I think it's going to come down to Gilmore and McCourty versus those Rams receivers and the ability for the Patriots to maintain that man coverage. And then occasionally... I think the Pats will play a lot. I think the Pats, uh, uh, conversely, again, I think the Pats will play a lot more zone today than they've played because that's typical of Belichick. Uh, he'll look... Uh, I, I, not only that, not only that, uh, not only that, Goff has been bad against his own. So he's had a lot of trouble matching up with zone defenses. He's thrown 12 of his 13 interceptions against zone. He's only thrown one interception against man this year, which is much easier, much more recognizable thing for a young quarterback to follow than to see these other things where he's got to identify Identify the blitzer, identify where the pressure point is, and then whether or not that guy is going to at the last second drop back into coverage. And uh, you know, and that's something that is very hard to decipher. It really is. If, if Gurley's knee is a problem, then the Rams won't be able to establish any kind of screen game, which has largely been a part of their success the last two seasons, too. And I buy into that point exactly what you're saying, Mike. You know, the Rams made a lot of big plays this year, though. The Rams are a big play team. Uh, do not discount that. They're number two in the league in plays over 20 yards. They are very much a big play team. Pats have trouble with speed. Rams have three three or four guys that can really run. could give up a lot of big plays, and maybe that's why the Patriots don't. You know, stick with the man today. Well, they, they, they that's you know, listen, listen, you know, listen. Also, you will see a lot of changes during the game with both these teams. We'll see what's working, and you'll see a lot of adjustments. You know, you got a lot of brain power on. The, thanks for the game, for the call. You're going to get a lot of brain power on the sideline today. You're not going to, you know, you got guys who've been in this league a long, long time. You got Belichick, you got Phillips, you got guys who have done this for a long time, you know, making changes, making adjustments. That's a big part of what these guys do. Ari in Brooklyn, real quick. I want to try and get these calls in, so go real quick. What's up?